Now joined by the head coach of the Musselman Appleman, Coach Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, congrats on the win last week over John Hanley. Just uh, quickly give us your thoughts on that game. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to, uh, you know, open your season and open your season with your win. You know, anytime you can kind of get that first one out of your, uh, you know, out of the way and, and um, you know, kind of notch that first win, it, it's a good thing. So it's good to win the opener. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting for our team. And, Coach, kind of when you go back and look at the numbers and, you know, you have your guys that are the key guys on your team, you see some guys that are in reserve roles that uh, have very good games for week one. How does that kind of make you feel knowing about your depth that this team's going to have? Yeah, you know, I've kind of preached about our depth all offseason. And, you know, I, I think one of the reasons that people maybe have questions about us is because the the two main kids that we graduated last year were – you know, two superstars. You lose an all-state quarterback in Baden, um, and then, you know, you, when you lose that production that Ray gave you at receiver, you know, people are going to think you're going to drop off. But, you know, I've, I've said it this offseason. I think we're as deep maybe as I've, I've as we've been since I've been the head coach here. Um, you know, I, I don't know if we have one single, you know, superstar, but at the same time, you know, we have a lot of kids that, uh, you know, when, when their number's called, they're going to be ready, and you kind of saw that. Um, Friday night, you know, we got we got about three running backs that we can plug in. Uh, you know, we got a really good quarterback, and then we got uh, about five or six receivers that that really can go off on any night. So, um, you know, really excited about that. Coach, you guys were down twenty-one to seven early in that ball game. Uh, what do you think kind of changed to, to allow you to get back into the game and then eventually take the lead and pull away? Well, I think you know, it, 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 I don't think it's necessarily that they. Um, dominated us early on. I think it was some self-inflicted mistakes. You know, we run a trick play, the second play of the game, um, and it, it, it's there and we miss it. You know, that would have been a touchdown. Uh, then, you know, we, we get a chance to punt and, uh, you know, we, we have a bad snap on the punt that they recover right there and then score the next play. Uh, so, you know, I, I think, you know, they, they, they made that stuff happen. I'm not taking away anything from them, but at the same time, I don't think it was like, you know, to me, it wasn't one of those games that it's 21 nothing. You're like, oh, man, they're completely dominating this team. I think it was one of those things where it was like, hey, you know, we, we, we had a bad start. We obviously didn't want to have a bad start. So let's kind of let's kind of buckle in and refocus and, and, you know, get going. And our, our kids are very mentally tough. So, you know, we, we felt like we were still in a, a good spot. Coach Thomas, now looking forward to this week against Loudon Valley. What have you seen uh, so far from them on the film? Yeah, they're they're big. Uh, they're really big. You know, we, we got a chance to scout them. Um, they scrimmage Hedgesville, their first scrimmage on a Friday, and we scrimmage Frankfurt on a Saturday. So we got a chance to go see them live. Um, and they're, I mean, they're big. They're they're probably as big as and you know Morgantown's a really big team, so I don't want to say Loudon Valley's the biggest team we play because Morgantown's going to be huge up front. But uh, you know they're 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 arguably maybe the the biggest team we play. They got the Division One kid at uh, tackle. Um, I think he's going to Duke. Um, you know they they got they got some skill. Uh, you know they're they're a hard nosed physical uh, team. You know which is which is similar to to what we are. So uh, you know it's their first game of the year. They had a bye week last week, so they're going to come in. You know excited to kick off their season. So I, I mean I think we're going to have another uh, tough one on our hands again this Friday. And, Coach, you talk about them having a bye week last week. I know that they had some coaches in attendance to your game to live scout the game. Do you think that that gives them a more advantage that they've seen you guys play a game and you haven't, you've only seen them play a scrimmage? Um, that's a good question. Not really. I mean, not really. I mean, obviously you'd rather watch somebody in a game. Um you know, so that, you know, you can see some teams hide their numbers and do all that. You know, they can they can say, hey, this kid's a this kid's a sophomore, this kid's a senior. They they can do a little bit of that. And they can see us in live game situations where you know we haven't been able to do that with them. Which I agree with you, that stinks. But you know, then you know, I, I'll I'll throw the counter argument back to you just because I I do that with everything. I try to look at both sides. You know, the counter argument would be, you know, well, maybe they have it tougher because, um, you know, they haven't had that Friday night game experience yet, and we have. So, you know, it's whatever way you want to look at it. I really don't think it matters. I think once the game gets going um, and and kids get in the flow of games, um, 
you know, especially when you have good programs, you know, I think we're a good program and I think they're a good program. I think once you get that flow of the game that everything will kind of sort itself out and, and, you know, none of that stuff will really matter. Coach, your team last season was 4-0 and in one-score games. This year you start the year with a 10-point win, so not a one-score game, but another close game. What do you think it says about your program and, and your ability to win close games against good opponents? Um, I mean, I think it's big. Um, at, the same, at the same point, I was frustrated we didn't win by more. Friday night, we were up by 16, and we gave up a touchdown. Uh, then we got the ball back, and we had a chance to punch another one in. I mean, I, I thought we I thought we were in a chance where we could have won by more, so I'm kind of frustrated we made it as close as we did. But um, at, the, at the same point, you know, we, we preach mental toughness to our kids. We do a lot of game situation scenarios with our kids throughout the week, so I think they're, I think they're prepared for those moments when, hey, things aren't going our way. Uh, and, and, you know, or, hey, things are tight. I really don't think our kids panic. And I think a lot of that's just because, you know, we, we talk about that. We're up front with that with our kids about uh, the mental toughness and kind of what it takes to win those games. All Coach Thomas. Appreciate the time and good luck this Friday. Hey, thank you, guys. I appreciate you for having me.